But the West must remember that Taiwan's elections are China's internal affair. And whatever the result of the election, it will not change the basic fact that Taiwan is part of China and that there is only one China. Hi friends, hello and welcome to another video. The upcoming visit of the U.S. delegation to Taiwan, led by former Deputy Secretary of State James Steinberg, Steinberg and former National Security Advisor Stephen Hadley, is a clear indication of the United States' commitment to interfere in Taiwan's elections. The delegation, which is expected to include other former high-ranking officials, seeks to strengthen the ties between the two parties and to reaffirm U.S. support for Taiwan, as well as to discuss regional security, trade, and investments. But let us not be naive. There are clearly ulterior motives at play here. While the U.S. insists that China should stay out of Taiwan's very consequential elections, they themselves have spent years cultivating this idea of a threat of a Beijing invasion to stoke fear in Taiwanese people. Just recently, a satellite launch was mischaracterized as a missile launch by Western-managed and Western-owned local media as part of a last-minute effort to influence the elections, given that conducting polls after January 3rd is against regulations in Taiwan. The U.S. seemed confident in Lai's potential win. This explains the swift deployment of this delegation to Taiwan right after the election. However, if their favorite candidate does not come out on top, they are very likely to reject the result of the election and launch a campaign to delegitimize the result, following a very well-worn playbook that we all witnessed on January 6, 2020. The geopolitical stakes of these elections are really high. The U.S. sees Taiwan as a strategic partner in its effort to contain China's rise and has provided military support accordingly. However, Beijing views Taiwan as part of an unresolved civil war that the U.S. is exploiting. Former Foreign Minister of Singapore, George Yeo, proposed recently the idea of a Chinese uh, Commonwealth, the idea of two countries under one commonwealth, one umbrella. This scheme is unlikely to sway voters this late in the election process. And while the idea is presented as a means to foster shared heritage and promote cooperation among its members, it would actually result in a more serious, in a more decisive U.S. occupation of Taiwan. Precisely the opposite of what Beijing wants. What Beijing wants is for American troops and military equipment to be out of Taiwan. They would certainly not agree to another Philippine situation at their doorstep. The outcome of this election has the potential to reshape the geopolitical landscape and alter the global power dynamic. Should the United States continue to push forward with an independence-leaning candidate interfering into Taiwan's affairs, China may respond aggressively under the One China policy. It would ramp up its military presence in the region and begin to exercise control over Taiwan's trade routes to prevent more U.S. troop or armament from reaching shore. The implications are far-reaching, not only for the region, but for the international relations as well. And this is why the entire world is watching today Taiwan's general election with bated breath. The repercussions of this result will reverberate across the globe. But the West must remember that Taiwan's elections are China's internal affair.
And whatever the result of the election, it will not change the basic fact that Taiwan is part of China and that there is only one China in the world. Thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment and share. And until I see you again, take it easy and bye for now.